Are you ready? <laughs> you ready? Good morning, plumbers. If you don't know, we do everyday plumbing, the good, the bad, the ugly. Today, today under these conditions, could be a little uglier. We got a sewer job. Backing up in the ladies' basement, but we're ready. We got boots. Do we got boots? Big, like, big boots? I got boots right here, I think. Yeah, I got boots here. These boots can get wet. No. Nah. Oh, they are good. We got boots. We got our masks. What we are doing today in today's epidemic. Maybe you should start the car before you put it in drive. Yeah, that would help. What we're doing here to do our part as plumbers, because we are essential, as we all know. The Don told us <laughs> that we're gloving up. We're masking up. We don't want to transfer particles from job to job and we're basically doing emergencies and essential jobs to keep the folks going and with that we're also spraying down some QT3 which is a disinfectant that doesn't help the camera stay up anyway we'll see when we get there if you haven't subscribed consider subscribing and follow this journey as I train my two sons the plumbing trade it's gonna be a long journey why Because it's well worth it. See, he don't know yet. He don't know yet. He's a millennial. You're a millennial. I'm not a millennial. What are you? What's one before it? I don't know. I'll look it up. If anybody knows what a 19-year-old today would be considered, you let us know in the comments below. We'll see when we get there. <laughs>
flush this so one more time. Can you flush the toilets upstairs, please? Uh, we'll, start with, we'll start with the ground floor first. How's that? Please. And I'll tell you what we got going on. So, we got some old cast over here which she wants addressed. We're going to make sure nothing is leaking here. There is a wood, there is a drip right here. Oh, we'll take care of this. Don't worry about it. We got gloves and all. We'll do it. All right. You had a cloud trap outside, looks like. It's a, we plunged it, it's clear now. We're going to make sure that's what I'm doing now, making sure it's coming out the street. Okay? How are we looking? Strong? Tell you what, go flush for me. And have her. All right, all coming in the same. I'll tell you what, have her go upstairs and flush both toilets, Angelo, please. Thank you. This one goes out to Danny Penn. Danny, I think this one was a little easier than you. A little easier than yours. I can hear the the flush. Here it comes. There it is. There's another flush. You gonna go up? Yes, you go there. Alright. Alright. We're gonna clean up down there, okay? Yeah, start cleaning that up. She has a trash can down there with a bag in it. We're gonna put it right in there. We got good flow here, folks. Pardon me? Yes. Here comes our final flush. Just coming from upstairs to get some speed to it, I bet. Oh, I like that a lot. I don't want to talk muffle under my mask, but that was a really good flush. Okay, I'm happy with this. Yeah, make sure you keep it away from the drain. Now this here, could have been a bowl wax, probably a tool right here.
everything seems like it's going down. Nothing, nothing's coming up there. I'm trying. I'm not trying to walk in that inch. Yeah. Nothing came up here. Watch that one more time. You're doing a fine job, young man. So I'm guessing that, I don't know. That's been sitting there a long time. Maybe he did some work or something, overflowed the door. Nothing's leaking now. Tell us about what happened. Alright. All of a sudden he's speechless. Got her done. That's all that matters. Alright, we got her done. But listen to this. All you apprentices out there, uh, when you go for the curb plunge, which I didn't really let him do, I should have let him do it after the fact. You don't want to go in there, hog wild, and splash sewage all over yourself. Okay? Just like a sink. You want to go easy so you're not overflowing the sink. Same thing in the sewer pipe, curb plunging. You want to force all the pressure down bottom and yeah, hopefully okay. out to the street to clear it. And that's exactly what we did. So we got lucky on that one. That was a ugly but good one. And in the end, we got it done. What we got? Halfway through, happy hump, hump day. Hump day? Wednesday. Uh, I know one thing. We have uh, future work there. She was interested in some new, real flush toilets. Which we'll be glad to show her in the very near future. And we got it done. You want to add anything? I'm okay. You're okay. Stay safe. That's a good one. Oh, we did spray it down with some QT3. Uh, one of Marcy's concoctions from the cleaning business. Cleaned up some roll sewage for her. We saw that. We went the extra yard. In the end, oh, they did put up a new wall. Wow. In the end, we got it done. What we got? What we got? What we got? What we got? No. What we got? No, no, no. What we got? I said. Go ahead, say, babe. And there goes another satisfied customer. See you at the next one.